Our goal is to help people not just get over the next step, but to fundamentally improve their lives. And what a wonderful place that would be for Westchester if we can bring everybody we serve to the point where they feel they are strong, they know their true strengths, and they are living their best life, connected to their community, connected to each other, and happy in their lives going forward. Mira's been a wonderful representative of our board. She captures so many of the values that are so important to us. She has a deep commitment to the services we offer. She also has deep roots in the Jewish community. I came here when I was four years old from Israel. My parents didn't speak English, I didn't speak English, and we needed the support of the community to assimilate, to learn the language. I first got involved with WJCS around 2007. I was looking for a part-time job. My background was early childhood counseling and the Parent Child Plus program. It was the perfect program for me. It was incredibly rewarding because you just saw the impact it had on these young children and their families. It was close to my story, and so it touched me personally. Mira was incredibly creative and had wonderful connections. There was so much that was said through body language, through her warmth, through her personality, and bringing the joy of the books and toys. She just engaged so wonderfully with families. I was coaching and training, mentoring the parent, how to interact positively with their child to enhance their development, their language skills, social skills, even to just learn American songs that will be familiar to them in school. You'd see the progress through the year, and you also knew that there would be an enduring impact on their lives. It just set the trajectory for their future. My experience as a foreigner to this country and my childhood helped me relate. We had that common human experience. I really had empathy for these parents. Mira's impact on WJCS goes far beyond just the work she's done with the families in the early childhood program from early childhood to end of life. We are a lifeline for so many people. Mira is the chair of the Jewish Programs Board Committee, and anytime there's a crisis in the community, she's so supportive and has so many great ideas and suggestions and is always willing to lend a hand. My parents were Holocaust survivors. I didn't realize there were so many Holocaust survivors still around, and they are so eager to socialize and get out and not be isolated. And I feel so good seeing these survivors who've suffered so much be joyous. One of the things we've done since October 7th is focus on this horrible resurgence of anti-Semitism that is traumatizing people. We have stepped in and provided counseling and workshops, how to cope with this. When my mother was dying, there were many issues with her that were common to Holocaust survivors at end of life. And uh, the, the counselors at WJCS helped me go through that. It was really difficult. I now have grown to value just being a part of an agency that's helping people in many ways as I was helped. And if I can help and encourage other people to be involved, to donate, to support us, then that's really what the honoring is about. Stephanie's a wonderful representative of the community participation that we have. She's innovative, she's creative, she pushes us to do more in areas where we haven't always been as involved. And together with her, we've created some wonderful programs that benefit people that we haven't touched before. Stephanie has challenged every system provider in Westchester County and frankly, New York State, the federal government, the Office of Mental Health, OASIS, and the Assembly and the Senate to really rethink how we approach treatment. She is a tireless advocate for co-occurring disorders, for systems transformation, and frankly, for organizations like WJCS. My vision for the Harris Project literally started at my kitchen table on October 23rd, 2013, the day that my son Harris died by accidental overdose. He started out with an anxiety disorder, 
Later, he got the attention deficit hyperactivity disorder diagnosis. Not one professional ever said, you better be really careful around substances. That would have been the first opportunity for things to be different. The model at the time would sometimes say to the individual, look, your trauma is being impacted by your substance use. We're not gonna be able to address your trauma because of your substance use. And if you have a co-occurring disorder, a substance use and a mental health disorder at the same time, the course of both disorders is worse. You have more negative outcomes across the board. And that makes it harder for you to attend work and school. It makes it hard for you to attend appointments. In eighth grade, Harris began self-medicating with marijuana. He was in the first residential treatment program when he was towards the end of his senior year in high school. I was taking him to the psychologist, the psychiatrist, the intensive outpatient program, the 12-step meeting, and the gym. Recurrence in use in under two weeks. Within a year and a half of entering that first program, Harris was gone. I needed to know where we went wrong, and I found my way to WJCS. But I learned really quickly that they were innovative. The Westchester County Department of Community Mental Health and WJCS became a partner in that endeavor right from the beginning. WJCS has really been a home for me. We became fiscal partners to really amplify the work that we're doing. We brought integrated evidence-based treatment to Westchester County through a program called Encompass. Multiple clinicians were getting certified in integrated evidence-based treatment protocol. With the Encompass treatment protocol, you're fully assessed, your entire situation is explored, and you receive one therapist who is integrating care. For you, a young person will call, a parent will call, they will come in. Once a week, individual therapy, which is far more successful, our results are so much better, and that's the difference. It's a privilege to work with Stephanie and to know her. Her stamina and her drive and her resilience really inspires all of us to work harder and do a better job in terms of identifying people struggling with co-occurring disorders. I put my trust in WJCS because they don't just want a training. What they want is certification. What they want is clinical competency. I know unequivocally that Harris would be here today if he had access to this type of care. If he had clinicians and an agency that understood co-occurring disorders. Being honored by WJCS is humbling. A chance to save lives is something that I wished for. It.